Good morning everybody, welcome back to a what I wore in a week. It has been a while since we've done one of these. I have been waiting for the longest time to have a nice setup to do what I wore in a week's in. The reno really put a stopper in these videos but I'm so excited to be back. It's taking a little bit of getting used to, I can't lie. And because I'm solidly vlogging at the moment, I am struggling to find outfits that you're not seeing because it's a bit boring if you've already seen all of the outfits in the vlogs already. So I'm having to really cherry pick my days and make sure I put together some great outfits for you on the days that I am not vlogging, which I can't lie, it's normally days that I want to be just in my sweats. But there's a couple of uh, casual outfits in this one. But I really hope you enjoy this what I wore in a week. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite once you've watched them all. And if you do decide to recreate any of them, let me know. I love seeing your outfits when you recreate my outfits but anyway without further ado the what i wore in a week so this is today's outfit a really nice comfy cozy one that also does look kind of pulled together apart from the footwear but this is my favorite way to wear uggs and get away with wearing uggs is to really like try and style them up and honestly i think it's so much easier with the platform ones because they look a bit more like boot ish i don't know it just feels so much easier to get away with styling than they feel a bit more like dressy but i have got a top on a gray top from asos it's actually just a t-shirt so i will probably just have a little jumper to hand just in case i'm indoors anywhere but it's a bit chilly and like the air cons are like blasting and then i've got my mango tan coat interestingly my favorite way to wear this coat is to contrast it with gray which i know is something that is a bit of a kind of it's not really done that often but I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment and it's kind of funny because one of you asked me in the autumn to do styling grey and tan and now it's all I actually want to do so plant the seed give me ideas just leave them to sit with me because apparently they it will happen if you do that I then have a YSL belt I dug this one out the other day it's about five maybe six years old I'm loving it absolutely loving it i think it works so nicely especially with like the gray top and the white jeans it's very like cool tones it adds a nice texture and detail especially because of the style of the buckle it's kind of giving like cowgirl i don't know is that right i think it adds texture without taking away from the outfit too much and also gold is quite dressy so this the silver just works perfectly however i do have my saddle bag which does have gold in it i don't know why but i just feel like it works anyway then i have cos jeans these are the column jeans that i bought recently absolutely loving them can't wait for spring and summer to get a ton of wear out of them but this is how i would style them up for winter i think they work really nicely with a tan coat you just have to kind of dress it down and more casual so that it doesn't look i find sometimes tan and white can look a bit too girly for my personal taste so wearing them together more casually works really well for me again then i have the uggs i'm actually not wearing jewelry i really i'm not in the mood today so yeah we have no jewelry and i feel a bit naked but i actually also think it lends itself really nicely to how casual the outfit is like it's very not faffy but also in case i get cold i have a jumper to hand i've actually picked this like cinnamon cinnamon like crimson burgundy burgundy is the word i'm looking for <laughs> sorry guys it's early i've picked this burgundy number because i actually think it just adds a really nice tone to the rest of the outfit i also think the burgundy will be really nice if i do get cold i've got like the white the tan of the uggs and then the burgundy and those tones work really nicely together and then you probably get a little pop of gray under the collar and i i just kind of like that but also this actually works really nicely just over the shoulders of the coat this is when i do this and it doesn't actually look good but it did when i tried it five minutes ago i just cross those over it just kind of doubles as a bit of a scarf sit you you can tie it if you want i don't love the tie on me i love it on other people not sure it just takes it from like casual to preppy a little bit too quickly <laughs> yeah i like how it kind of can keep my hair weighed down as well if it's a bit windy but yeah i just really like all of the tones and textures together this might not be for everyone but honestly i i really rate the just being able to take a jumper with you but like you don't have to carry it it's just socially acceptable to fling it over your shoulders at the moment i'm obsessed I love it. Also just a big fan of all of these like different tones together. Yeah, love it. So that's my outfit of the day. Bye. Good evening, everybody. We are having an early Valentine's tonight. So I have pulled together what I consider to be the perfect date night outfit for me, especially because we're going to Soho House, the Brighton Soho House. So it's a very chilled vibe, but like I still want to look nice and like I'm actually on a date, not like it's just, you know, any old Tuesday. It's not Tuesday, but not the point. 
So I've pulled out this Reformation top, which is I think one of my favorite things in my wardrobe. It's just, it's got this timeless, energy to it I don't know I just feel like I will keep this for a really really long time I love the fact that you can either wear it like fully pulled across or if you wanted you could get boob tape and you could have it like parting down the middle not for me personally I'm not brave enough there would have to be a lot of boob tape involved I just like the way it falls naturally I give it a little tuck here because otherwise there seems to be a little pointed situation which I don't love. I've paired it with my jeans from Cos which are like a straight leg but they're quite long so a heel is needed and they're also a little bit big but I like that with my jeans because it means I can either cinch them at the waist or I can wear them lower down and then they don't get the tightness because my thighs are just they're slightly wider and thicker than average so I just find I get a lot of tightness around here with jeans if they fit my waist they don't fit here so because of this I have got my Celine belt on which is mostly covered up there's just a tiny pop of gold which I've run with throughout the rest of the outfit and it snatches and it kind of gives a little mini bum situation and it's just really nice for jewellery, I have gone for the Suru earrings. These are the perfect earrings for this outfit. I have my Aurelia heart necklace on. I originally wasn't wearing a necklace, but I just spotted this when I was downstairs and I was like, oh, that actually is just so simple and would look so sweet. With the V neckline, I didn't want to do another, like, a long pendant because I just felt like it was too much. I think when doing a v-neckline at the moment I just love a tiny weeny little something. And then for rings I have got my Astrid and Miu wave rings and oh my god where, where are all of these from? The pinky ring is from Astrid and Miu, the heart gold band is from I believe Remy and then the next two are from I think they're Majuri. And then I've just got a really old watch on from Aurelia and yeah that is the outfit. These are going to be my shoes. I am... <laughs> I have a real struggle with putting shoes on in this room because I just really don't want to damage my carpet but I'll do it I'll show you I'll just put them on for two seconds for you guys these are from Jimmy Choo they have a gold heel which I think just works so perfectly with the rest of the outfit and that is the look no idea what jacket I'm going to wear probably something enormous and puffy because the weather is terrible not quite the vibe but I don't want to ruin my fur coats I don't want to be cold in a leather I'd normally wear a leather with this Giant black puffer, perfect. I almost forgot this is my bag of choice. I just think the Dior Saddle is the perfect date night bag. I just love an over the shoulder situ for a date night. I think it's just so cute. And it says I didn't bring things. I've brought no money, I'm bringing nothing to the table except cute bags. Good morning everybody. So we are getting ready for the day. I actually have a friend coming over for dinner this evening. So I'm going for a slightly dressier working from home outfit today just so I don't have to worry about changing before she gets here. So in terms of jewellery I have gone for a Raimi little dangly chain earring in this ear my middle piercing is gonna have nothing in it because it will be covered up by these really cute little aurelia textured heart drop earrings i am obsessed with these like very very obsessed with these it's a good day when i have an outfit that works with these earrings for me right now and then on the other ear we have all raimi situations and then the same aurelia earrings so this is a raimi evil eye I can't remember what the actual name of it is but it's basically like a little eye with a blue stud in the middle and then we have a darker more like royal ocean blue chain earring that runs up into an ear cuff which i'm obsessed with i love it so much again the second hole is just empty and then we've got the aurelia earring and i think it works really nicely with the dress that i'm wearing today please excuse the mess if you can see it behind me because we're gonna tidy up shortly in here but today i am wearing this dress from mango it's super comfy it's like a very fine black knit it's got a high neck but not too high and although it can look very nothingy just left like this i actually have a really cute addition that i wanted to add just for a little bit of extra coziness but also it really breaks up the outfit nicely so we are going to take a jumper i'm using this one from zara it's an old favorite of mine and i'm just going to tie it a little bit and have it over my shoulders i was hoping for a more bouncy blow dry with this look but honestly i got rained on going to the gym this morning so we are just working with 
what we've got today. So this is what it looks like with the jumper on. I just find it really cozy on my shoulders and it also just adds a little bit more interest. I didn't want to add more jewellery. I didn't want to add a waist belt. No, no, very bloated right now. That is not the vibe. But this adds a little bit of interest to the dress without adding any more jewellery or anything too restrictive. And then on my feet, I have these little YSL sliders, which are just the perfect at home shoe they're the most gorgeous creamy borg teddy material and i just love them i think they just add an extra little bit of coziness to this outfit but equally i think this outfit looks amazing with a pair of like knee high leather boots i've worn my short weitzman boots with this outfit before and absolutely loved it so if i were going out that is what i'd wear or we have these kind of boots from all saints and they also look very cool with it i also think this outfit works really well when i'm wearing my glasses i look like a librarian <laughs> good afternoon everybody i am off out this afternoon for a little coffee with ryan and the dog so i've just thrown on a nice casual outfit from top to bottom we have my celine sunnies these are like the rounded ones i think they're quite fun and this outfit just needs like something that's a little bit more fun with it so that was what I picked I always like to contrast my outfit with my sunnies if that makes sense so like I like for the sunglasses to bring something that the outfit doesn't have I think it just finishes it really nicely this jacket I am obsessed with it is from and other stories I believe it's a nice crop trench very similar to the one that Massimo Dutti 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 don't know did in the autumn and I didn't get my hands on and I was really sad because I think a crop trench is just something that's massively missing from my wardrobe I have had such a good ride with the Jane and Tash leather jackets I was like do you know what I actually think especially for like the fact that I like a baggier jean a cropped jacket is really nice and it doesn't swamp my figure too much it's nice and relaxed especially because I like to wear tighter tops with my baggier jeans I think like the relaxed cropness of the jacket just works really well and I really like the tone of this one as well I just think it's such a good neutral tone so I paired that with an Adenola tank top it's like a long vest top but it comes with like padding and everything so you don't have to wear a bra it's honestly sensational one of my top buys i think from adenola i have my dior saddle which is just such a staple for me right now i when i first bought this bag i really didn't get on with it but actually it has been one of the best bag purchases i've made which i'm really happy about because it wasn't cheap but when i bought this i really was kind of like i just followed my gut it was kind of on a whim yeah a weird gut feeling i was a bit concerned that it was a trend bag that maybe had passed but i actually just it's just such a timeless classic in my wardrobe i'm so glad i bought it i think even when you not that you can do it with this outfit but when you sling it over the shoulder and you just have like the cd i think it's such a nice like textural addition to the outfit and then we have my cos jeans which are quickly becoming my number one item that i have in my wardrobe i am obsessed with these and then i have my sambas yeah i just love it i just think it's like nice and cash but doesn't look casual it's not like the same as wearing my sweats i think this outfit will be one that you'll see a lot in the springtime like right now it has to be a very warm winter's day for me to wear this but as we go into spring and the weather is just naturally warmer this is just going to be one of those outfits that i wear on repeat it's such a lovely easy one this is what the tank looks like underneath for anyone who is wondering it's not too low on the chest it's really nice and supportive it's great for if you're just like going to the gym or whatever as well and doing something low intensity it's just like a really nice supportive bra but also a top it comes down to about here so you can tuck it into tops which is great and oh i also have my celine belt on as you can see and yeah that is the outfit good morning do you know what i weirdly love at the moment a back tuck on a t-shirt this might divide some opinions but i really like it started off when i was wearing trackies and i just wanted to like remind ryan that his fiance still has a bum because everything i wear at home is oversized but it's now just gravitated in towards like everything i wear if i don't actually want to tuck it back tuck followed by a slight side tuck and then just left completely loose it's a really strange habit that i've got into but stylistically i also kind of love it okay so i'm just popping out so we're going to create a very simple outfit we are going to throw on my platform uggs no socks because i wear them the aussie way and i find 
it keeps them better for longer. Like they're still fluffy on the inside, if that makes sense. Okay, we need to give this a slight glow up because it's maybe bordering on too casual. We are going to go for a structured tailored coat. Mew Mew Sunnies, what do we think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with them. And then I think I might go for this bag. This has a gold chain as well, which I can attach so I can have it as a shoulder bag, but I also just think they're really cute when you hold them, especially if you're literally just like popping here and there and like you don't actually need to like carry a hundred thousand things. It's just kind of like effortless, like it's sloppy, it's squishy, you know, we don't care. It's giving, we don't care. I think this in the coat and the sunnies elevates this very casual outfit really nicely. I like the contrasting of it all, I think it's nice. I just love the fact that you can throw it under your arm as well as goals. But you just, it's not acceptable to do this with any other bag. Obsessed. My earrings are from Aurelia and then my necklace is also from Aurelia and I'm wearing zero rings. If I wear gloves when I leave the house, I'm not putting anything on my fingers because that is so annoying. I basically look like I'm not engaged half the time at the moment. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I like it. I think this might divide some opinions, but I am very happy with this one. <laughs> so you guys, I just went to take the photos of this outfit for the thumbnail and I love this outfit so much. I just took so many selfies that I maxed out my iPhone storage. So this outfit will forever be the one that maxed out my iPhone storage. That's how much I love it. Anyway, doodles. Good morning, everybody. This is today's outfit of the day. You are gonna see a little bit of like re-wearing in this vlog. There are certain pieces that I'm just loving and I'm really enjoying styling them both like casually and more dressed up. So yeah, you are gonna see lots of the same jeans and jackets on rotation. I think that's important. We wanna get the most wear out of everything. So today's outfit is a really nice, simple one. I've got this high neck, Lily Silk Cashmere Knit On. It's so comfy, so cozy. <laughs> Look at Shrimpy. She loves this carpet. She absolutely loves just like making herself at home on it. Anyway, I am pairing it with this mango belt and then I've got my Cos Column jeans on, which I am obsessed with. And then my old fail-safe Topshop boots. I really need to find like another version of these with a lower heel because these are quite high that is something i am massively on the hunt for at the moment cool boots to wear with jeans that are great for everyday wear because these are a little bit high i mean because i'm so sure i can really get away with it in terms of comfort i would prefer something more with more of a mid heel and then i have this max mara bag which they very kindly gifted me when i went to an event with them at christmas which was so nice and then just my usual gold jewelry stack like this is the extreme version i will try and link as many of the rings as i can i actually need to put earrings in what shall we go for today i feel these could be really sweet or we have some new giant clip-ins oh these are really fun actually what do we think are these too big could be a bit big for every day given the jacket i'm gonna wear is a bit more casual okay we have gone for the etsy earrings because they're big but not too big okay this is my jacket of choice we've gone for the and other stories cropped trench i think it works so nicely at smartening up outfits and obviously this outfit isn't like mega casual but because we've got the jeans it is nice to to contrast that a little bit and i like that it adds an extra tone we've got like different brown tones going on and i think it gives the outfit a nice depth and i like the gold accents that we've got running through the outfit as well so yeah that is my outfit of the day see you tomorrow good morning if I'm out of breath, it's because I've just run up the stairs. Today we have just another day in the life of a girl trying to run her errands and look cute at the same time, which I've really been struggling with lately. I have been looking like a toe when I run my errands, which is fine. You know, we don't have to always look snazz when we run our errands, but today I just felt like I could do with some pep. I need an outfit to hype me up, so this is it. We have got my YSL tote bag i've got adenola leggings on just a long sleeve adenola top underneath really really nice and simple like my go-to combination adenola socks on <laughs> this vlog is not sponsored by adenola i've got my adidas trainers these are my favorite trainers i've ever had i need to sort these out they are disgusting i am aware i've then got the fluffy crazy jacket on which i just i just really love it okay it's it's a little bit extra but i really love it and then we have chanel sunnies i was really struggling with sunnies today i kind of wanted to go for the ysl ones actually you can let me know what you think for future reference oh which ones do you think work better like now i now i'm looking at it in the camera i'm thinking maybe it does need to be these ones what do you think 
mm, now maybe I'm thinking it needs to be these, but I don't love, these are my prescription ones and I don't love the fact that they're a little bit less opaque on the lens than the Chanel ones, but now I'm looking at it, I just think my eyes need like the cat eye. With this, there's a lot of round shapes going on in this outfit, so maybe the angular sunglasses is better. What do we think? Anyway, this is my outfit of the day. Oh, I, I really thought we were gonna get through a what I wore vlog without me doing a peace sign, but no. Okay, anyway, that is it for me today. Was this outfit a bit too crazy? I don't know. Please let me know if you love it. Be nice. <laughs> love you, bye. Good morning. This outfit is the ultimate I don't know what to wear outfit. I literally wear this all the time when I don't know what to wear. Like, in fact, if you ever see me in this, just know, just look at me and think she didn't know what to wear today. And if you are also having one of those days and you see me in this, it'll probably bring you some comfort to know that I too was in that position. I am obsessed with this jacket and these trousers. They just pair together so nicely. I've also been loving this jacket with my jeans recently, but I'm popping out for a little meeting. Just a quick in and out situation, which when you don't live in London is never a quick in and out situation. But this is the outfit. This is the look. I love pairing these Mew Mew Sunnies with this outfit as well. I love the brown tones. I love the fact that it brings something a little bit different to the outfit. It kind of feels like the wrong sunglasses to pair with the outfit but I love that about it. Like, this is so wintry and the trousers are like smart but then the sunglasses are giving like a slight lightness, summeriness to it but also they're like not a smart or feminine pair of sunglasses and like I don't know I just feel like they contrast really nicely and then we also have like the wrong shoe situation going on as well with the outfit it just all works i really like it so the jacket in question is from jane and tash you will have seen this a lot i love it i also have it in black on the rail just there and then i am wearing a brown cos jumper obsessed with this at the moment and i really like the brown and brown i was tempted to wear i have a red cashmere like a burgundy cashmere and I was tempted to go with that, but I just think this is a little bit smarter than my black River Island trousers, Adidas Sambas. I'm actually thinking of maybe putting a belt on with this as well because the trousers just need a little bit more, uh, just a fraction more lift to stop them catching on my shoe when I walk because I find when I go upstairs, this happens. The girlies that wonder web their trousers will know that if that happens, there's a likelihood that your trouser is going to like pull apart and then just all the hemming web falls apart. Your trouser is long again, but only one spot and it's a bit of a disaster and then you're just dragging your trousers through puddles. So anyway, going to put a belt on just to lift it a little bit. And in terms of jewellery, I have these cute little vintage button earrings and a Raimi heart necklace and then no rings today. We're going bare again. Oh, and my bag, hang on. This is the going for meetings bag and now, yeah, you're seeing this and you're thinking, yeah, I've seen that a hundred times before, aren't you? Yeah, this is my, I don't know what to wear. I've got to go to London and look presentable outfit. Oh, the millennial peace sign is out, cute. Good morning, she's back in these jeans again. I just, I just can't stay away. Today I am pairing the cos jeans. This is basically a how to style the cos jeans. Today I am pairing them with my YSL belt. Cos jumper, they're like, I think their cashmere jumpers are so nice, so warm, so comfortable. They wash well, like honestly cannot recommend them enough. I've gone for these vintage earrings from Aurelia because they, are silver but they also have the gold stripe running through them so it means that I can mix up my metals a little bit so I've got my Dior Lady Dejoy bag I believe that's what this is called just over my shoulder honestly I really struggled with a bag for this outfit I'm, I'm trying to switch it up and wear a lot of them so this is the bag of choice today and I like the fact that it's just small and easy I can throw it over my shoulder it's like a champagne -y, silvery gold so it kind of goes well with the rest of the outfit. I've then got these tiny heeled sock boots on. These are old from ASOS and to be honest I can only really wear them when the weather is dry which it is today because they are like a true sock boot like they're just a fabric material so if it rains my feet be wet. So yeah we're taking advantage of being able to wear these today. I would love these in a leather that would be the dream to be honest for like daily wear. So I'm keeping my eye out for that. Jewelry not much to say literally just got my engagement ring on and that is that is it and then for my jacket i have gone for the new baby i am obsessed with this jacket i love it so much i love how i can wear it casually with leggings or i can wear it with jeans and kind of style it up a little bit more dress it up a little bit more and i've also popped on 
my Chanel Sunnies. They've got again this like champagne-y silver tone so I think it works really well with the rest of the outfit. Yeah, just a nice easy one. This has been such a go-to look for me lately, you will have seen from the vlogs. I'm loving these Sunnies as well. Mm, yeah, love this outfit. You guys, I forgot to end the vlog. I was mid downstairs eating cereal. I forgot to end this what I wore in a week. The outfit I'm wearing is actually not from this video. You'll see it in the next one. But I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this what I wore in a week. Let me know your favorite outfits. Also, there is a new podcast episode live. It's the Valentine's Day special. Ryan and I are playing Mr. and Mrs. It's interesting. Really testing how much we know each other and whether we should actually be getting married at this point. So I will link that in the info box for you guys in case you want to go and watch it. But I hope you're all having the best week and you enjoyed this. And those of you that have been literally begging me for what I wore in a week, I really hope that I lived up to the hype because there's a lot of pressure. But yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.